Welcome back to another tutorial and today we might be in for a big one. This one is about a subject that I've been frequently searched for on the web throughout the years and maybe you have too. And that is to export videos with transparent backgrounds and then also using these on the web. So this is a really amazing agency in the UK called Fearless. I just built and shipped their new web experience and this features just this some really nice transparent planets in 3D, rotating as you scroll through the page. And as you hover them, they stop and start rotating. And then also when you tap them, uh, you will go into the detail page of these uh, entities. So this is a really perfect example of when you want to have transparent videos. So that's what I'm gonna bring you today uh, of the process I went through to make this happen. And in this case in Webflow, and hopefully that will be to good use for you to use as well. So I'm now in After Effects. I've already done two planets, but I'm going to show you how I make the third one. In this case, the red one. I'm just setting up the folders and the structures here, very similar to all the other tutorials you've seen from me before. And the one we're going to focus on here is Fierce. Uh, so I'm going to go back to my folder. So here we have a folder called PNG sequence. And this is basically the render I got from our 3D designer, in this case, that made these planets. And it's basically a step-by-step -step frame of the planet. And this we're gonna merge into a video. So this could be anything, uh, any assets that you have uh, or render or just a motion graphic 2D animation and uh, anything that works really. But this is set up in as a sequence. So I take all these images and I drag them into After Effects and I place them in this folder. Then I select all these, drag them down to new composition and that will do a single composition and we're gonna set the duration to just one frame and we're gonna click OK. That will then load a little bit and we will get a new composition. We can now name this composition Planet Fierce and then we drag it out nice and tidy into the comps folder. And then we can double click it to get into it. Uh, so there we see, now it's gonna work nicely, rotating as it should, frame by frame to the end. So now we're gonna then select this. We're gonna go into composition to export, add to Adobe Media Encoder queue. And then we go into the format. Here in the top, we're going to then select QuickTime and in preset, we're going to go down and select Adobe ProRes 4444 with Alpha. And then we're going to scroll down and we want to decrease the size of this. We don't need it this large and this is also going to really impact the size of this file and as it's going to be used on the web I want to keep it as small as possible so i'm doing an estimate of around 700 pixels is going to be enough and then you can change anything here you want i'm just going to keep it as is and then this is important so in the depth under the video section here we're going to then select the highest bit rates and plus alpha that is really important so tap that one and that's it and then we click OK. And then we're gonna select the output and we're gonna select the right folder. And then we click Start. So now when that is done, we can go back to our folder and we should then have our video file. So this is when the fun part begins. Uh, I've been trying to convert this with the, all kinds of converters and online tools and, and settings. But the best solution that I found was Rotato. They have a converter tool called Rotato Converter. So then we're gonna just drag this video into their tool and then you can start to uh, convert this to two different formats. You can go on their website. I'll link this in the description as well, all the background resources. But as you can see now in the background, we just render these 500 frames for this planet. And in the background, in the folder, you can then see these uh, file formats uh, starting to populate. So you see HDVC Safari, VP6, uh, WebM, Chrome. So that's what we're gonna do. And then later on in code, we're then gonna have a, if it's Chrome, use this. If Safari, use this format. All right, so now that is done. And then we can basically click here, test in Chrome or test in Safari. That's gonna launch that website 
and then we can go into our folder and we click the Safari video and we drop it right in. And there we have it. We have a transparent, make sure everything works. And uh, basically that is it. And then we can go back to Chrome and then we can take the VP6 Chrome file, drop it in and that's also gonna work. All right, so here we have the page and I'm just gonna dive right into the key part. Uh, I have a div here with the planets and for each we have then a HTML embed. I'm gonna go into planet number two and click the settings icon. And here we're gonna bring up then the code that we use for this component. So this uh, code I'll also link in the description for you to use. It's very simple. It's basically two sources and it will use the one that applies to the browser that you are on at the moment. And here we then have a link to each of these files that we converted. Uh, so these files you have to host on your website or any sort of server and online so you get a link to it. Uh, I'll leave that to you to choose whichever works for you. But once you have these on file on a link, then you can use this in here. And then as you save, uh, then it will appear just like this. And then as you scroll down, you will then see uh, these planets move, rotate with transparent background. Yeah, so that's basically it. There we have it. Uh, hopefully this works for you. Leave a comment and let me know if you need any help. Be sure to check out all the other tutorials I've done so far. And uh, don't forget to go on my Patreon and join the tier there to join all the behind the scenes and work in progress, including this website, how things are made from my side of the team. Thanks a lot. Hope you liked this video and subscribe for more. And I'll see you very soon again.